Stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends Quasar. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Quasar. Now you will know this by now, this is a Walgreens exclusive over in the US. I believe an EB Games exclusive in Canada. In the UK, however, we do not have Walgreens. So we skip the middleman and it goes straight to our online retailers. I believe you can even get this on Hasbro Pulse UK, possibly. You'll have to check that yourself. But still, I'm very happy to have this in hand. It is another one of the cosmic characters from this cosmic theme of Walgreens exclusives. There's one more to go as Bond has been revealed to be the last cosmic exclusive before they switched the themes up and in the last live stream they did sort of address the distribution issues with Walgreens as people in the US still haven't found Nova or Quasar so they've said please be patient it is coming it's just shipping is delayed all over the place it's a global issue people so please be patient for your toys but you will get them uh, but still you can live vicariously through me as we check out Quasar today who is not a part of any builder figure so you don't see nothing in the box apart from his interchangeable hands and these effect pieces which we've seen before in Marvel Legends so we know what we're getting here but still very happy to add a Quasar to the six inch collection there's been a three and three quarter inch version for a long time but happy to get an updated six inch version for the modern Hasbro era to fit into our sort of modern sort of displays uh, and he looks nice in the box there is a picture of a Quasar on the side and again that same image on the back of the box as well as a right of the read Marvel's Quasar. Donning a pair of quantum bands, Wendell Vaughn transforms into Quasar, the protector of the universe. And then as I said, no build a figure piece, no wave association, he is a single packed exclusive and we are gonna open him up. So here we have Wendell out of the box with all of his accessories, which isn't a lot. Just one interchangeable set of hands and then these flame effects that we've seen before, which is a little bit lackluster, which is sometimes the case with these exclusives, especially when we don't get no build a figure piece and the price point is the same. It's a shame they couldn't pack in more accessories. Now, at the same time, I'm not too sure what else they could give us with Quasar. Maybe some more um, interchangeable hands, more effect pieces, an interchangeable head with a different expression maybe. That's always nice for options. Options. But still, that's just me complaining. The figure itself is a character we have needed for our cosmic displays in the sort of upgraded Hasbro modern day era. So I am happy to add him to the collection. Nevertheless, and uh, yeah, he's looking pretty good. There he is with his quantum bands, of course, that give him his abilities. Uh, I believe he was just a normal human guy who was trained to be a shield agent and then wore the bands to protect the shield scientist something like that i can't quite remember but still i know he now helps protect the universe as some sort of um space version of shield or something like that i'm sure i will be corrected in the comments if i'm wrong but still let's zoom in and check out what we've got so taking a look at wendell's face sculpt pretty good not going to complain here just a normal stoic face if we're only going to get one head sculpt with a character i'd rather it be a neutral expression because if we get one head sculpt and it's angry just like the hood he's always angry so i like that we get a more neutral look if we're only get one head sculpt but two head sculpts wouldn't be bad i like mixing up i like having different uh, expressions to display and options for the shelf but still here we have him with his dirty blonde hair so i like that they've got a little bit of detail in there to bring out the sculpt but it's decent enough the cape is the big deal with quasar because behind him you can see it has like the stars and the galaxy uh, effect on the sort of under inside of the cape which sort of looks nice sort of behind the character there and the cape isn't even plugged in with a peg or anything like that we do get a peg hole there on the back of the figure but the cape doesn't need a peg because it's a soft nice enough plastic and it sort of sits over the shoulders and it sort of hugs tightly around the neck so if I take the head off you'll see what I mean it sort of just comes off over the neck and there's no peg or anything like that. And it's a nice soft plastic as well. You can squeeze that, no issues. So it's not gonna hinder articulation and there's a better look at the sort of galaxy design in there a little bit. And if I put the head back on, the character sort of gives me a bit of Flash Gordon vibes. Not gonna lie, with the dirty blonde hair and the red top, um, yeah, it looks a little bit like Flash Gordon. 
the wrists ha have the quantum bands as well, which are a separate piece. These will come off. So if I take the wrist, the uh, hands off, and uh, take the wrists off, we could sort of get yourself a little custom Flash Gordon there, Marvel Legends style. What are you saying? I think that could work, not going to lie. But of course, without the quantum bands, he is not Quasar. He doesn't have those powers. So let's put them back on. But it's nice to know that they come off. Uh, and the figure itself is just very simple red with the blue sort of a standard sort of Marvel Legends body. I like how we get the pinless arms though, the double jointed pinless arms, always a nice touch. But let me put this jacket, uh, this hood back on. So again, the hood, soft plastic, sort of goes over the neck, no problems at all. And as I said, this will not hinder articulation at the shoulders because the cut goes up past the shoulders so you can get the arms up, no issues at all. Then again, double jointed arms, again, pinless, double jointed arms, which is a nice touch, no issues there. Uh, the ab crunch is pretty good. Goes back as well, pretty good. The waist cut is there, you can clearly see it. There's no belt or anything, so that works out really well. Legs go out pretty far as well, no complaints there. Double jointed knees and he will kick his backside all day long, no problem there. Decent ankle pivot and rocker as well. Uh, and there is a swivel up here at the boots. Even though there's no separate um, sort of scoop work for the boots or nothing like that, it just goes from blue, uh, back to the red uh, and there's no pinless legs unfortunately you can see the the blue pin there on the red part of the leg so pinless arms no pinless legs so we're halfway there but for this character i think this is going to work the articulation is very nice for the type of poses i want to get this character in mine's going to be on a flight stand um anyway uh so yeah i can get a flight stand behind him and he can stand there hovering over some of these cosmic characters for the display so yeah no complaints from me i never really gave any love to the logo here on the front of the cape but it's white and it sort of goes out to gold clean looks good no complaints there the cape is a little bit glossy as well so you can see it's shining in the number lights what i do want to show you however are the effect pieces uh, so we get these translucent orange uh, sort of effects that go over the fists and those fit snugly over the fists now we've seen these before from marvel legends these are the same ones that come with uh, uh, iron fist and human torch and uh, let me zoom out, that would probably help a little bit. So again, these are just effect pieces that sort of demonstrate the ability over the fist. And these fit snug as well. So whether you've got him flying like that, or you just want his arms down and he's like on a flight stand or something, they fit snugly and they are not going to fall off. But they look best when he's like punching someone, I guess. So ACBA and stuff like that will work. But yeah, they fit snugly over the fisted hands, no problem at all. But he does have a set of open palm hands, or waving hands, or saluting hands, or karate chopping hands, however you wanna use them, he has a set of open palm hands, which I think most people use them for flying poses, let's be honest. So before I bring in the comparisons, I should mention as well that the cape is sort of about to his shins, so it doesn't actually hit the floor. So you do have to balance him like it or a fall like that. So it, it, it's not too heavy. It is a soft, light plastic. So it's not going to constantly knock him over. You just get a, got to get him balanced. But yeah, it's just that the cape is not the type of cape that's going to lean on the floor. As you can see, he does sit uh, a little bit off the ground. So no complaints there. As I said, him falling over is just a good example that you've got to balance it and it will work no problems at all. But let's bring in some comparisons and let's bring in the last Walgreens exclusive I got, which was, of course, Nova, who is a little bit taller uh, than Quasar there. We can see when they're standing together, probably because of the helmet, to be fair. But let's bring in the previous version of Nova as well. Uh, and there you go. So now we've got two versions of Nova compared to Quasar. Here's another couple of cosmic characters with the original Captain Marvel course Thanos there. And again, these look very nice. Now, I don't think these have any particular relevance to Quasar, but there's some nice villains. So here we have Kang and Doctor Doom. If you remember at the start of the video, I did say that Wendell was training to be a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent before he was Quasar. So I thought it'd be fun to see him compared to a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, but also see if that head sculpt would fit on a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent body. And the answer is yes, it does. It's a little bit loose as all the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent heads are, so that's not uh, Wendell's fault. But yeah, if you wanted to have an extra unmasked head for a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, this would work. Just because I'm on a villain's hype still, here we have Quasar compared to Red Skull and Dormammu. And last but certainly not least, here we have Quasar compared to Worthy, How Fire, Hank. <coughs> so 
Final Thoughts Quasar is a welcomed addition to my cosmic collection and display. He's a cosmic character I've actually wanted for a while. He's been in a lot of people's wish lists. So very happy that Hasbro have got round to him. And I like to see some of the Hasbro upgrades in him as well with those pinless arms. But the character design, it's simple, it's slick, he looks nice. I like the way that the cape is soft plastic and it hugs to the neck and the upper body. So it looks like it's actually sculpted on there, but it's a separate piece. And the colors just sort of pop as well. Uh, nice, clean, smart figure. And yeah, he could have had more accessories, but what he comes with is gonna work for the display. Once he's up on a flight stand like this, flying amongst your cosmic characters is gonna pop no doubts at all. But as always, your opinions mean more than mine. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like Marvel Legends, check out the videos tab, find the playlists, but most importantly, please, 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 hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated, you can also hit that join button and become a channel member, show some love, or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. You can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. I'm on Twitter at Dan Who Reviews. But as always, people, my name is Dan W and I will, of course, see you on the next one.